Hey buddies, Sunnut Sky here. Hope you're having an awesome day so far. In this video, we're really quickly going to teach you how to get the pickaxe and how to defeat the first boss. They're one and the same thing. But obviously, you're going to want to get that pickaxe so you can start mining yourself some metals and progressing through the game. Uh, I at first was a little bit confused on how to do this, and uh, hopefully I can help some of you guys that may also be confused as well. Alrighty, let's go. So, to get the pickaxe, you need to defeat the first boss, which is a sort of stag boss. And after listening to the crow for a little bit, and doing the first few stages of the game, you will get to this point where he shows you this, you read this, and it says, Hunt his kin. Well, that's pretty obvious uh, what that's going to be. And if we click on the altar here, we can try and offer an item, doesn't really matter what it is, nothing happens. Now, I had a bit of a guess. I actually guessed it straight away. Mm, to my own horn. But um, the deer trophy is what you need. Deer trophy is what you need to sacrifice at this altar to summon the boss. Now, before I do that, I'm going to show you a way that we can do it quite easily. Now, this is... I mean, to be honest, it's not that hard. Remember, guys, this first boss is pretty much the end of the tutorial. So it's not meant to be that difficult. Um, but, uh, but, you know, for those that are trying to maybe speed run it or do it really quickly... I mean, sure, if you're speedrunning, you'll probably figure out a better strat than this. But um, we're basically going to set up a little zone here. We're going to set up a little zone. This isn't snapping, but this is the only way that I want it to. Classic. Doesn't really matter. So we're going to set up a little zone here. Uh, in which we're going to be fighting home skillet from. So I'm going to speed this up for you guys so I can kind of show you what I'm going to do to beat this guy but without taking up too much of your time. Alrighty. Alrighty, so we're trying to do this with minimal resources. You don't need to do a full wall around because he's quite a, quite a chunky feller. Um, and we actually had an interesting spawn with this building here uh, and with uh, I'm gonna actually gonna close this up here and uh, and with this mountain right next to it so this uh, this is quite a good spawn I believe for doing this uh, and we're now going to summon the boss and we're going to beat it now I know I've got some good armor guys uh, but you know we're probably not gonna be hit too much in fact you know what I'll take I'll just throw that on the floor Definitely definitely don't want that to be on the floor. I was going to take it off, but not throw it on the floor. I mean, we'll leave our, our, our troll chest and our troll cape on. How about that? How about that? Um, and then we, we've got, you know, we're using pretty basic food. The carrot, uh, carrot soup is good food, uh, but it doesn't give much health. It gives mostly stamina. So that's not going to be too far away from sort of the level of health that you'll be at. You'll probably be more at like 50 health along those lines. Um, but again, this is... This is very doable early game. You put the uh, you put the two heads in your hotbar, and then you press the button corresponding to where you put them. I'm gonna summon the big old boy, big old boyski. There he is. We're gonna now make our way up to our little our little zone. I put a door here and these little walls because his lightning his lightning attack does have a bit of a knockback. So this will hopefully stop us from being knocked back by that. There he is. He's gone around doing big damage and stuff. His headbutt does a lot of damage. But his lightning attack, which hits pretty much everything, uh, does not do that much damage, thankfully. He, he doesn't seem to like my tower. He's just... Hello? I do. Oh, let's go get him. Let's go get him. He's literally just wandered off. Hello, bro? To be honest, he's really not that hard to beat. He doesn't even do that much damage. So if you build yourself a tower shield, which you can make pretty early on, you should uh, you should be okay with this. The tower shield will block... In fact, this this iron, uh, this bronze buckler here, see, that didn't do that much. I'm only wearing two pieces of armor. We can block that. 
power shield you can make very early on and it blocks 40 points of damage. Now, I'm really not trying very hard here. I know I look like I'm doing really bad in this fight. Um, the point is, obviously, if you're, if you're, you know, you got a much worse bow, um, you know, and you're much earlier in the game, you're gonna be sweating it out much harder. You know, you're gonna be trying a lot harder, uh, probably, than I am right now. Um, <clears throat> uh, so yeah, so yeah, this is, this is really easy to do. He seems to keep wandering off. I can just pull him and then run back up to my tower. I mean, there's loads of different ways to do this. There are loads of ways to do this. You really don't need to even build a structure necessarily. This is the this is the kind of whoa. Okay, fell down here. Now, I don't have that much health, so I don't want to don't want to meme too hard. I basically I just don't want to be hit by his headbutt attack because his headbutt attack does a lot of damage. But you see, he kind of aggro's onto the walls and stuff, and then he kind of tries to run away and. Then he kind of just vibes there for a bit. Not really sure what to do. So this here, oh, he's gonna headbutt my stuff now. Now I'm in trouble. So I should probably finish him off. But I mean, you guys probably would have beaten him by down, to be honest. Um, so you can definitely see how this would be easy enough to pull off, even at the early stages of the game. He's probably gonna knock my tower down here, so let's just finish him off. Yeah, but even with all that, he didn't knock my tower down. Oh, he did. <laughs> it's actually breaking apart. <laughs> uh, perfect timing. Good stuff. But guys, obviously, if I had been trying a bit harder, even though if I had much worse, uh, a much worse bow, but I had actually been trying, uh, you know, it would have been it would have been not too hard. Pretty easy to do. So you got your you got your trophy. You should also get the. There we go. This is what you need. The hard antler. The hard antler is what you need to be able to build the pickaxe and I'll just show you that here really quickly in your crafting station this crafting station is going to need a roof of course for me to access it so maybe I can just shove it in here how convenient and you should now be able to craft your antler pickaxe which will allow you to start mining and now you can go off and get yourself some copper and some tin forge yourself some bronze weapons armor and tools and I'm actually going to make a guide on that. I'll probably release that guide tomorrow. So if you've seen this video when it's been launched, uh, tomorrow the How to Get Bronze guide will be out. Uh, we're going to be doing daily Valheim videos for, for a little while until we run out of ideas for Valheim videos. I also have been streaming a lot of Valheim on my Twitch channel. We go live at 1 o'clock every single day. Hey, if you like the video, give it a thumbs up. If you want to see more content like this, consider subscribing. And I hope you have a beautiful rest of your day. Take care.